Hey guys, my name is B and today I'm talking to you about cosplay. So there were many many voices that wanted to see more of something like a beginner's video for cosplay. And so I'm starting this year off with cosplay tips for choosing a character. So I'm just talking to you about things that I do when I'm searching for a character. I just don't want to say to you just don't do that character or do that character. I'm in no way do I want to limit you in any way. You can do whatever you want. I tend to do it after certain rules because those have worked for me in the past and so I just want to share those. When I start searching for characters, I just look at myself, seriously, because I'm not the biggest person, I'm not the most muscular person, I'm not the most biggest boobish person, that word. I tend to do little squirky characters. Most people do the characters of the animes that they love watching and enjoy and are fans of and for me it's also like that but sometimes I just search for characters and then I see a cool character and then I watch the anime and then I'm doing the character so it's the other way around for me most of the time and I think that broadens the horizon for character extremely or you're just a, an extreme anime watcher and you're watching so many animes anyway so you're having a broad horizon anyways. You have to consider your limitation in skills. Can you do really big props or is that something that you've never done before? Or is that costume really complicated? Do you have to make that cosplay yourself or do you have help? from your mom or a friend or do you want to buy that cosplay as a whole on ebay or something like that which is also really 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 basic question that you have to ask yourself basically when you want to start cosplay or you want to choose a character the first basic thing is being early with choosing or listing the characters that are important that you want to do because maybe there is a certain amount of time that you have to consider because you want to order from Chinese eBay shops and that will take a month to arrive in your country at least. Yeah, that is also really important and also keep in mind, do you have multiple convention days or just one? Do you want to just do one cosplay or do you want to have many? Or for each day a different one like I did multiple years because that needs time and money I have never bought a cosplay online yes the occasional school uniform you could do your own character of course if you have those amazing drawing skills and just design a character and do it of course you can do that it's amazing also, and this is in no means racist, and it's also regarding your person. Do you, times you want to do characters that don't have the same skin color as you, which are, are paler or even another color on earth, like green or something crazy like that. And then you have to consider taking body paint. Full on body paint is really something that is difficult and need to have at least someone who helps you with it is the place that you're sleeping for the convention good enough for that because i am on a campsite and doing full-on body paint in a bathroom on a campsite is just not ideal there are so many easy characters that you could do like Misty from Pokemon or someone else from the, the line Pokemon is always really easy and also like Death Note characters are not difficult and good to start with. There will be many people that do the same cosplay, fun anyways because you've done that 
for the first time and it's not that bad to do these cosplays. There's a start for everybody. Cosplay is all about the fun and that's what you have to see in it and if you really want to do that cosplay then just put all your strength and skills into it and you will you will nail it. Some skills come over years, you could learn to sew or you could learn to work with a wobbler like I did last year. I'm doing cosplay for seven years and never done anything with wobbler because it was just too expensive but I just... I did it! Finally worked with wobbler! It's my ninth Animagic this year, the ninth time. I'm getting old. Stop the whining. Okay. At the end, it really doesn't matter what there are obstacles in your way. If you want to do that character, do that character. That's how I do it. The most complicated things I just did because I started doing them and then I finished them and I was proud of myself about those things. And that's the fun in cosplay because you don't think you could do it and then you do it and it's like <laughs> And without it my life wouldn't be the same. See the first cosplay suggestion for this year? Yes! The first cosplay suggestion is... Uh, Black Gold Saw from Black Rock Shooter! Maybe I'm doing this, maybe not, but it's on my list and I'm trying to do it. Also, who's for another Sheenon cosplay? I'll find online version. Vote in the comments below which one do you want to see. So this will probably be then doing another Catwoman cosplay. I've never done any cosplay twice, so take that into consideration guys. So yeah, I hope that video was somewhat making sense and I could help you or give you some tips or just entertain you with my face or something like that and I will talk to you in my next video